on a headbutt. Second and final public warning to Wrestling Rasputin. Rasputin gets the second and final public warning for that. But we're still in the first session of wrestling. Here comes the pile driver. And it's all the way down. And I doubt if Singh will get up from that one. Eight, nine, that's it. So Singh is out. First knockout to spoiler in 20 in at will before the bell goes I think and another low punch there by Diablo right on the bell of round one well they don't need to have heard that bell which should seem to be pretty loud to us here at Riverside and a public warning must be a public warning, if not disqualification, I should think. Ken Joyce is just the man to do it if he's going to get a quick disqualification and no warnings. No, he gets a public warning first. Another chance. El Diablo receives his first public warning. Again, the head, taking the front of the landing, neck. And he's going in there for the headlock and strangle. Almost looks as though he's trying a sleeper there, but... Yes, the arm is underneath the chin. The strangle hold, but the question is whether the crook of the elbow is over the windpipe. If not, that could be a sleeper and dangerous. Nine, eight, nine. No, kid out on a sleeper. Well, that's unfortunate for Kid because a sleeper is not really legal in this country, and I don't really know how he got away with that in the first place. It He's certainly not going to have it all his own way. Oh, caught this time, and he's got the submission hold for sure. He'll never be able to say no to that one, McMichael. Even McMichael. Just one minute, 15 seconds into round three. The only submission fall required to a battle star over McMichael. Your Matt got him. No, he hasn't. Doss is up, and he goes straight for the headlock and strangle. And this could be the start of the sleeper. Just for one thing, Johnny Wilson was trying to avoid. Can Wasser come back with a sleeper? Wilson really struggling. This a hold that can be put on with just one finger correctly. And now the, the whole forearm is in the right spot, or is it? We'll soon know that Wilson's in trouble. As he's in trouble, and the referee steps in immediately, and I don't think Wilson is going to go up for that, and I'm afraid he won't, he won't even count. He won't even give him a count. Let's try that against. It's more time. Listen to trouble that left arm by posting himself. And it's a great find, and it's an opposite arm lever, and Tyrone in trouble here. Could get a submission, the Emperor here, and he's got it. The big man wins it, and the one fall required. A submission fall in round three, and it just took him. One minute, 37 seconds. Another post in the far corner, in his own corner this time. Again, the pressure points. He seems to win with this every time. There's the chop helping her along. Always the neck holds if he can get him. Oh, the headlock and strangle from standing position. Dicey moment. Dicey moment for him. Could be a sleeper here. That forearm is mighty near the jugular vein. And Tyrone in trouble. Ryle Rabbit Gahoydis Carvanol, Ir Barki D. A honey a pet say a gethy di squill. Ir Barki D. Sigar High. Ildiad. Arvi Weather Cavan. On my El Bandito on the square. Kung Fu, I'm a Honor Methy, I'm an Equimp, and a Van Hindi King Kendo. Oh, my, my Dimo, Vethi and Gavartal, I'm a team El Bandito, a Kung Fu.
a Gornes Tag Ail Hanner or Haglen. We them. The big fella against oh, a full boxing club, you must get a submission from this. There it is, no problem. So the Monroe is leading by one submission to Monroe. It's up to the referee to protect him a little here. And splash, no, no splash. Yes, splash now. And he'll hold Patton down, no problem at all. 